Have you ever wondered what life is like on different planets? Let's go and take a look. Our solar system is one of many thousands in the Milky Way galaxy. They all differ from each other, from the size of the main star to the number of planets and their type. The Sun is at the very centre of our solar system. It provides the gravitational pull to start the formation of planets from a large disk of dust, rock and ice. It is a hot ball of gases that emits a huge amount of energy which radiates through the solar system. This energy affects all of the planets differently. On Mercury, it strips the atmosphere away as quickly as it's produced, but on Earth, it's just the right amount to keep us warm and for life to thrive. The Sun is so big that if you could stand on its surface without being burnt, its gravitational strength would pull all of your blood into your feet and then flatten you completely. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. It is so close that its atmosphere is blasted into space as quickly as it's produced from the heated rock on the sunny side. On the night side, the temperatures drop considerably, getting as low as minus 170 degrees. With Mercury being so small, its gravity is weaker, allowing you to jump higher and with less effort. Your weight would be 38% of what it is on Earth. The iron core inside the planet has cooled over billions of years. And while it could still be molten, it has shrunk and the surface has been pulled with it, creating giant rocky wrinkles that stretch for hundreds of miles along its surface. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system because it is wrapped in a thick and toxic blanket of cloud. This cloud makes it very difficult to see the surface from the Earth, but satellites and one lander have successfully reached the planet and have been able to see through the blanket and uncover the surface details. We know that the surface is a mix of craters, volcanoes, mountain ranges and huge lava plains. The temperature is high enough to melt lead and the atmosphere thick enough that the pressure is strong enough to squash you. The Earth is the only known place to support life, so far. It has a range of landscapes ranging from some of the tallest mountains to the deepest oceans. Our planet started off as a hot molten rocky body, but over time it began to cool. As the surface cooled into a hardened crust, the heat and pressure built up, creating fractures that separate the tectonic plates and form volcanoes and earthquakes. As the crust becomes rocky, it allowed water to pool up, giving rise to the oceans that now cover 70% of the surface of the Earth. The red planet Mars is smaller than the Earth and much further away from the Sun. This pushed the planet towards losing its atmosphere and becoming a cold and presumably dead planet. Over the years we have sent multiple satellites, landers and rovers to Mars. One of the most well known is the Curiosity rover that you can see here. This is around the size of a small car. The red colour for which it's known comes from its iron-rich dust that covers the planet and whips up into large dust storms. Mars is also the site of the solar system's tallest mountain, which is a large shield volcano standing at 13 miles high and over 370 miles wide.
Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system, at 318 times the size of Earth, and 2.5 times more massive than all of the other planets combined. We don't know exactly how Jupiter looks on the surface, however, this is what it might look like. If the planet got any bigger, it wouldn't increase in size, it would just become denser due to its gravity. The surface is still a mystery as we haven't managed to get anything through Jupiter's atmosphere to observe it. However, we do know that the atmosphere is made up of hydrogen and helium and under the immense pressure from Jupiter's gravity will be compressed initially into a liquid and further down into a solid. Saturn has the largest set of rings in the solar system, composed of ice, rock and dust. The ice reflects a lot of light, allowing us to see them clearly through a telescope. Like Jupiter, hydrogen and helium is what makes up the atmosphere, which under the pressure created by Saturn's slightly weaker gravity, crushes it into a liquid and then a solid at different depths. Trying to get a spacecraft through to the liquid surface would be no easy task due to the thick and swirling clouds that make up the upper layers of the planet. Uranus is an ice giant composed of an icy fluid surrounding a rocky core. The hot liquid and ice mix makes up 80% of the planet and is composed of water, methane and ammonia. This flows around with the hydrogen, helium and methane atmosphere blocking our view of the actual surface and inner layers. The core heats up to nearly 5000 degrees Celsius giving the deeper liquids a higher temperature that freezes as it starts to get close to the surface. Uranus is tilted on its side, giving the surface long periods of light and long periods of darkness. Neptune is a very dark, cold and windy planet. It is more than 30 times as far away from the Sun as the Earth is. It is the eighth and last of the major planets since Pluto was demoted from full ninth planet to dwarf planet. Neptune makes up the pair of ice giants with a makeup very similar to Uranus. It is a thick fog of water, ammonia and methane over an Earth-sized solid core with a liquid layer in between. The winds here whip clouds of frozen methane across the planet at speeds of more than 1,200 miles per hour. To help put this into perspective, to help put this into perspective, the most powerful winds on Earth only reach 250 miles per hour.